So hey everyone, and as always, welcome to the channel. Thanks for stopping by and hanging out for a few. My name is Rich Charpentier, I'm the channel host here, and most times that uh, folks pop in here, you're gonna see something about drones, or 360 imaging, or building your drone business, and we show a lot of things that we're actually doing in our drone business to help you get some ideas of what you could do in your drone business. Sorry, just taking a look down to make sure microphone's recording and everything. So one of the big things that we've been adding to our flights for clients happens to be 360 aerials and also 360 ground-based tours. So it's not always raw land sites that we're working on. But today I wanted to talk about the 360 aerials that we do and something that's gonna massively improve my quality of life at least um, for doing more of these 360s for our clients. So as you can see right now, this is uh, one of our aerial tours from a location in People's Valley. I think this was a 17 acre location that we were doing for a family who's gonna be building a new home in the area. So we even show up in this too, but that's okay because it's the whole construction thing. So when you have that nice pretty house at the end when it's all said and done, construction vehicles won't be in it, photographer vehicles won't be in it. But while we're actually tracking the progress of these types of places, yeah, you're probably gonna see the truck pop up. Now, today we're gonna to be talking about how we can replicate some of our 360s. So while we're doing aerial 360s, uh, we run into a couple of problems with our capture applications. And today I'm gonna to tell you about something super exciting from Drone Harmony, something that I've been waiting for any one of the uh, capture app uh, manufacturers to come out with, and Drone Harmony has done it. So. I do need to uh, provide a little disclaimer. So this is not a paid for uh, video here, but I have done official tutorials for Drone Harmony on their website. So this one right now is just my reaction to a new tool that they let me know about recently that I've been asking for and they made it happen and I'm thrilled to pieces and it has to do with 360s. So when we do these 360s for our clients, we do have a lot of different capture applications that help us do that. Uh, DJI's Go 4 for my Mavic 2 Pro does allow for doing 360 images. Um, when I utilize Litchi, Litchi does allow for panorama shooting as well. Uh, but one of the things that they don't allow for is creating waypoint missions that are reusable. The key here is reusable creating a waypoint mission where you have your 360s built in. So you can go from waypoint to waypoint, maybe some of them are 360s, maybe some of them are still photos, maybe you're doing video between your waypoints. The thing here is that um, Litchi, uh, DJI Go 4, they're not going to save these locations for you. So we've had to kind of come up with some wacky, uh, wacky workarounds for ourselves. Util, uh, usually utilizing Litchi to do this. And so this one that we're looking at right here was uh, shot with Litchi. And uh, then we've got this cleared out top area in here. I was actually looking up when I was doing this. Sorry about that. That should give you a good laugh. Um, but so when we do these for, the, for our clients, um, we don't have this automatic waypoint set up um, where we can say that the 360s are repeatable. We do have lots of other things that are repeatable, like flying grids or flying standard waypoint missions, but on standard waypoint missions in Litchi, for example, we don't have an option to have a 360 happen in our waypoint mission. So it's been something that's frustrated me for a couple of years. Um, how do we deliver, you know, a 360 shot from the same exact place each time? And it gets really time consuming. Well, I'm happy to say Drone Harmony let me know the other week that they do have a new um, mission set up. And uh, so I actually finally had some time to get a look through it and I get it now. So they have some basic explanations. I will be doing a full tutorial on this down the road um, on behalf of Drone Harmony and I'll let you know when we do that and point you over to their website. But in the meantime, I just wanted to check this out because Gosh darn it, somebody made what I've been looking for. So thrilled to pieces. Now we have a job coming up. If you watched yesterday's video, this map should probably be real familiar to you. Um, it's going to be a job that we're going to be doing here in a few days after Thanksgiving. Um, nearly 100 acres. And we're going to be doing some video flights, some still flights, 
And now we're gonna be also mixing in some 360s because hey, we've got tools. So we right now are online using my Chrome browser and we're over at Drone Harmony's website. So we're at their mission, mission planning tool. And I just wanted to show you this. So we're gonna be planning on launching the drone from right in here. And we would like to do some repeatable 360s. So first for the sale and then for when someone does new construction, we're always planning ahead that we're going to be um, that we're going to be documenting construction progression for our clients. And when people see the uh, construction progressions, it's usually a big wow factor. Plus, they actually get to track their build. So it's not a hard sell for us these days. But here we go. New tool from Drone Harmony. They've been doing some other small improvements. So when I do the next official uh, Drone Harmony tutorial, we'll be talking about a couple of additional things. But I just went down, let's make sure you're following along with me. We've got some menu items over here. If you're not too familiar with Drone Harmony, I would say stop by their website, check out their support page, watch some of the videos they have there on how you can utilize Drone Harmony. But we can use it for 2D and 3D modeling. We can use it for waypoint missions. They've got some interesting orbital setups as well. But you'll have to go check out, uh, you'll have to go check out those videos in more detail. I just wanted to get this one out there because this is super exciting to me and proposes a lot of value to um, to what I'm doing. So down on the lower right hand corner, we've got some other menu items here, but we have an add uh, a type of a plan. So for mapping and inspection or for terrain aware models, but one of the items they have down at the bottom is manual waypoints. So they've always had a manual waypoints and you could uh, prepare your flights uh, with manual waypoints and these would be repeatable flights and that was great so I could prepare a manual waypoint flight where I would go from waypoint to waypoint take photos or maybe I'm taking video between these waypoints um, there are a lot of different options but now we've got another new option that's absolutely thrilling so I'm gonna click on that manual waypoints and let's just call this uh, let's just call this 360 planning so that's the mission name we'll give it and let's go for, we're gonna do 40 meters above ground level from where we're launching from. And I'm gonna be using a DJI drone, specifically the Mavic 2 Pro, and the camera is gonna be the Mavic 2 Pro as well. Make sure that you're putting your correct camera information in here um, for when you're doing your capture. So I'm gonna go ahead and create that mission. And something popped up for us. We now have a new window over on the left-hand side. So there's the name of that, 360 planning. And we're looking at the overview right now. We've got a flight speed here at two meters per second. And let me change that to seven miles per hour. We're not flying this one yet. I'm still working my way th uh, through learning this. So there you go. But uh, this is pretty straightforward. And I'm, like I said, tickled because I finally can make truly repeatable 360 missions utilizing a waypoint feature from one of the vendors that we utilize. So I'm just going to move this one over here. Let's grab that. So what I'm setting up for here, this is gonna be where we're launching from. So that's why we've got our little green arrow here. And then we have a waypoint and we can actually define things about the waypoint itself. So we can look at the overall mission, we can look at our plan, and then we can look at individual waypoints. So in my mind, what I'd like to do here uh, when we get to this location is I wanna, I would like a 360 from right here and I'm just moving my end point out over here and let's move this over a little bit. So this will be the second 360 that I want to occur. And let's drop down here because maybe we'll use this as a just standard flight path. So I'm just moving things around. This is a large acreage property that we're gonna be dealing with here, nearly 100 acres. And we're gonna be doing a little moving around as we're capturing these. So this one I'm gonna place out here. So I know for a fact, because I've been working with this particular map, um, one parcel's right in here, another parcel's right over here, and the third and largest parcel's over here. And I would like to put that 360 setup right there. Now I'm going to move my little end point here. And maybe we'll just make one more waypoint that has nothing to do with 360s. And then 
I'm going to bring that end point back here. So I have several defined weight points here now. And so it's telling me if I let, uh, if I let Drone Harmony fly this for me, uh, it's going to be 7 minutes and 30 seconds following around this path at 7 miles per hour. Let's add that extra thing in now. So this is what I'm so excited about. I am going to click on this particular waypoint that is 40 meters above the ground, and I'm going to right click on it. And so several new features have been added to Drone Harmony. We're now right clicking from our waypoints and other items is actually going to give us more dialog boxes. So like I said, I will be doing a longer video tutorial uh, in the near future for Drone Harmony for this so that you can see all of the new features that are available to you. All right. Editing a single waypoint, we've got its position right now. So we actually could come in here and correct our latitude and longitude. This is another recent feature. So it's been around for a little bit, but another one that I think I did a video here on that was also very exciting to me. So if we need to tweak this and get, get those locations exactly right, we can and we can save them. That's awesome. So I could reset the altitude on this particular one. So we could change the altitudes here up and down as we're moving along the property as well. We could set rotations for it. So maybe have the drone rotate to a different direction. Maybe have the drone looking at a point of interest. We could also set our gimbal so we can have the gimbal move up and down through the mission as it's going. Now we have this one, convert to a panorama. I'm, uh, you know, I'm waiting for the light to come down from the ceiling here and some music in the background. This is what I've been waiting for, and Drone Harmony has done it. So I can't say that for Litchi. I can't say that for Ground Station Pro. I can't say that for Map Pilot Pro. This is what I've been waiting for for a flight app that can become the complete flight app for all the work we do here at AZ Drone. So this is a huge step for us. So I'm going to click Convert to a Panorama. And it says to me, convert to panorama, select, uh, convert the selected waypoint into panorama shots with 34 images each. So it's taking a lot of images for us here. And so I'm going to go ahead and do that converted. So now, looking at this, you will notice that this waypoint kind of has a little star symbol around it now. And so that's indicating to me that this is going to be one of my waypoint photos. So absolutely thrilling. This next one doesn't have to be a waypoint mission, or uh, I'm sorry, a 360 on a waypoint mission. Maybe you want to take a, a single image from here instead. You could do that. But let's go ahead and click on it. I'm going to go ahead and right click to it. We're going to convert that one to a panorama as well. So there we go. We have now saved that panorama. So number one, number two. I don't want a panorama down on this one, but maybe I do want a photo in here. So you know, I can do other things in here of repositioning, setting the gimbal, splitting the mission here, setting this as the first waypoint that we want, or I could also delete this waypoint. I'm not going to do that. We're going to just leave that one in there. But the next one is definitely one that I also want a waypoint on. So once again, I can convert to that panorama here, hit the convert button, and there we go. Now, let me hit the 3D button really quick for you here. So we've been looking at this from our standard satellite top-down view. Remember, Drone Harmony allows us to see our setups in three dimensions as well. So I can click on the little 3D box, and now I can take a look down here at that 3D box, and I can see where the flight is going to be occurring. And I do remember that our first waypoint here, we do have a point, uh, we do have a 360. Got another 360 on this one, no 360 on this one. But as uh, as we take a look through these, waypoint unselected, and actually I'm going to reselect it again. I do, however, like looking at the top-down view just because I'm kind of used to it. But so now we have this mission that I can absolutely save and reuse. And when I'm flying this waypoint mission, I'm going to get my 360 images at the same spot that I got them at before. Like I said, we've been doing some crazy workarounds utilizing Litchi for when we're trying to record our 360 shot locations. But now I can create this particular site plan, save it, and then I could make some other site plans in this area as well if I wanted to. I could go ahead and make another slight site plan for doing a two-dimensional or three-dimensional model with one of their grid setups. So this has now opened it up for me 
that I can fly my 2D and 3D models, I can fly my waypoint missions, and now I can fly my 360 waypoint missions. Sounds like a complete package to me. So look forward to an upcoming video for me letting you know when we've got the full tutorial because I need to spend a little time with this, play with it a little bit more, uh, you know, take it out to the field and um, just make sure that it flies how I want it to. All of the other flight missions that I've ever done with uh, Drone Harmony, uh, we've had no issues with either. So this just became a much more attractive tool to me with the addition of, uh, of just one new feature. So pretty excited about that. Also, one of the other things I just want to... Um, let me just move that one right back there. So we can, I just want to say this as a reminder, because this is a newer feature. Um, if we're basing things on county tax parcel maps, uh, and we'd like to get the information from them on where each of our waypoints is, we can go to the county tax parcel maps, put it in the parcel, and then extract some of the geographic data, our, our GPS coordinates, and so if I want to get things exactly at a particular corner on a property, I can still do that. So once I've set up the waypoint, I can come in here and make my changes to latitude and longitude. So this is another newer feature, which is fantastic if we're planning some long-term repeatable flights for our clients. So there we go. There's my excitement for the day. And once again, this is just my first impressions of this one. And you will be seeing an official video down the road um, that we'll be doing on behalf of Drone Harmony. So once again, this one's not sponsored or anything. I just wanted to get it out there because this is such a game changer. Uh, this is going to be a fantastic tool to use going forward for us here.